So the Coleman bike with the Predator 224 did 63.46 miles an hour. Did a top speed of 63.46 first time out. And 3.990 to 30. Point nine nine three point nine nine with a four point nine one ratio twelve on the clutch and fifty nine on the back with a predator two twenty four with a mod two cam in our racing chrome molly push rods a header pipe ten thousand head gasket one point two ratio rev rockers a nibby twenty four millimeter carburetor and a Tillerson 212E flywheel. So I was looking for a good alternative to a billet flywheel. So I picked up this cast aluminum flywheel for 35 bucks that's rated at 8,500 RPM and it has a clone taper so it'll fit on the Predator 224. So I'm gonna install this flywheel on there and I'm gonna see if it picks up any time or quickness from zero to 30 because it's so much lighter. I don't think it'll gain any top speed with a lighter flywheel, but it might pick up some quickness from zero to 30. And if it doesn't pick up any quickness or more top speed, at least it's a good safe flywheel being rated at 8,500 RPM, a good safe alternative to a built flywheel. Pop this recoil cover off of here. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if this lightweight flywheel actually makes the same quicker from zero to 30. I'll keep the same timing, which is, I think I added a seven degree key to this thing. Alrighty, there we go. Use this earthquake impact wrench. Man, this thing will pull off anything. I think it's got like 1200 pound feet of torque to remove this stuff. Okay. So the Tillerson flywheel doesn't have the holes for the, for the puller. So I'm gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. And pop it off with a hammer. There we go. All right, Tillerson off. And the cast aluminum, and this thing is so much lighter. I don't know exactly the weight of these things, but man, this thing is heavy compared to the uh, cast aluminum version. What's cool about it, this thing is tested to 8,500 RPM. So it should be fine with a Mod 2 cam. I don't think it's gonna spin any faster than that. But yeah, it's definitely probably twice as light. I don't know the weight of this thing, but man, it is super light. Okay, so now let me pop off this seven degree flywheel key. Okay, there we go, 70 degree flywheel key. That way I can um, lap this thing in. Put a little valve grinding compound on here. All right, so this has a clone taper. So this will fit right on here. But still, I'm gonna go ahead and lap it in. off all right oh yeah you can definitely see it on there did a nice job of lapping that flywheel in I'm gonna reinstall my flywheel key make sure it's down on there plus with that shaft so it'll slide on or horizontal with it so the flywheel slides on and the groove is towards the front. So the flywheel twists towards the front. So now let's install this flywheel. Don't have to use the fan. So now to torque that flywheel down, I'm gonna come over here and pop this clutch off and use my flywheel 
holding tool. Pop this clutch off here so I can use my flywheel holding tool or crank holding tool. There we go. That should do it. There we go. Put my crank holding tool on here. Torque this thing down with one fluid motion. Pop all this stuff back on here. So this tensioner back on here that I didn't even have to really take off, but whatever. I'll set this coil gap to about 30 because this flywheel does not have the rear earth magnet. So it's not like an ARC where it has to be at 60. Use my old trusty sleeve that's already set to 30. So there's 30 thousandths. Okay, so there we go. Coil set, flywheel torqued. Go ahead and install this recoil. And then use a little cover that comes with the 224 to cover up all these wires, which makes them look nice and neat. All right. Okay, so there we go. Cast aluminum 8500 RPM flywheel. Got the cast aluminum flywheel on there. We'll see if we can beat 3.99030 and 63.46 top speed. did. Okay, it's at 0 to 30 and 4.13. 4.13. Okay, did another 0 to 30 in 4.13. So two times in a row, 4.13. Anyway, let me do top speed.
seems like it was moving out pretty good. Let's see what it did. Did a top speed of 62.65. So the cast aluminum flywheel didn't really pick up any top speed or zero to 30 time or zero to 30 quickness. It could be a good alternative because it's so light for a racetrack. Like if you're racing coming out of a corner and you need to gain RPM really quick. So with the 212E flywheel installed, it did 3.99 zero to 30 and 63.46 top speed. And then the cast aluminum it did 4.13. I mean, it's maybe a tenth off. I mean, it, you can't really tell by seat of the pants. Top speed did 62.65, so just a speck slower at top speed. Seat of the pants, it's hard to tell, but as far as the numbers go, it looks like it likes that heavy flywheel, maybe just a little bit better. So the flywheel is rated at 8,500 RPM, so it's a safe alternative to a billet flywheel.